Being the son of a research ornithologist, I can never answer the question, why did you get into birds and conservation? I didn't. They've always just been part of my life. I've always thought wandering around in the bush, having a freezer full of dead animals, and collecting roadkill to feed the recovering golden eagle was normal, something that all children did. Being a conservationist, an ornithologist and guide in modern Africa, means you have to really know your country. Get out there and learn about people and what they need. Jobs, land security to name just a few. You have to consider what the government needs and the importance of the private sector. When we talk about a road across an important ecosystem or a factory development, you have to think proactively and scientifically. Will development in, for example, Lake Natron really affect lesser flamingos? Is this globally important breeding ground for lesser flamingos more important than thousands of jobs? There are no easy answers, just challenges. What we do know is that when we combine private sector investments with sustainable conservation methodologies, we often get very positive results. These mechanisms which are created through tourism and now the carbon markets provide both rural employment, put revenue into the tax system, support land security and of course conserve ecosystems and habitat. When the last flock of passenger pigeons was shot in 1913, they knew they were causing the extinction of what was the most numerous species of bird in the world. As a species we have evolved, we are taking conservation more seriously and there are some victories.